It's time to assemble the Confidential Fan Guild. And welcome to the debut edition of the Confidential Fan Guild, which is, consists of myself, Magpie, and Blue Dragon 5, and the man of mystery, Mr. E. Who else would you have in the Confidential Fan Guild than the man who is confidential himself? <laughs> no Indeed. one has ever seen my file. We're the only ones who can solve mysteries. Then what is my anyway. answer? That's the yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the big news that everybody's been talking about and talking about and talking about, hell, Geekvolution only just recently did a video on it because they, all their fans wanted them to do a video on it, and that's, of course, the Superman-Batman movie that's supposed to be coming out. And with this, it's probably not going to be one of our three-hour-long epic videos, but it will probably definitely be uh, a long video in itself. So, essentially, uh, this is what I heard happened. So, I'm doing this on various other sources. Essentially... I I saw it happen. I can go through it. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, here's what happened. After uh, After the Warner Brothers DC panel... We got uh, Scott Snyder, ma- sorry, not Scott Snyder, <laughs> Zack Snyder making a surprise appearance at the end. He walks on stage. He's saying, yes, Man of Steel 2 is happening, but let's face it, you guys already knew that was happening. Then uh, Zack Snyder brings out the general at the end of Man of, S- Man of Steel, the uh, the one that's, you know, talking to, talking to Superman, saying, you know, You'll have to con- you'll have to convince him. I'll have to trust you on that. You know, I grew up in Kansas. That that general. He says because yeah. you know he has a voice better than mine to say this to say this quote that's kind of going to emphasize the kind of the tone we're trying to set for the film. Kind of the tone we're trying to set with this big news for the film. So he reads a line, and many people, some of them knew the instant he started this line. I was. I want you to remember this, Clark. My hand at your throat, and in your most private moments, remember the one man who beat you. That line, of course, is from Dark Knight Returns. After that line was said, the lights went dim. It was darkness in the room. Then the lights came up, following a video. That video showed one image. That image? The Superman symbol on top of the Batman symbol. From Dark Knight Returns, mind you, but still... The bat symbol. Hmm. Which means Superman, Batman. It means Man of Steel 2 will have Batman in it. That's the, that's the official news. Everyone's returning. Yeah. All, the, uh, all, the people, all the players of Man of Steel are coming back. We, have, we don't know who's playing Batman yet. They've only announced four of the major people. They've only announced four officials. I mean, pretty much that is the main. This is pretty much all the people from Man of Steel coming back. Yeah. Yeah. The four. I mean, the ones who were left. Who were left. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyway, uh, we are all here to speculate, predict, and come up with theories on what uh, what's supposed to be ha- happening here. Is Magpie? And sorry. If, yeah. If I may, I just want to say this before we begin. This is a momentous occasion, Joe, and I'm, I'm glad we've lived to see this moment, the moment that we've all been waiting for. These giants have reached the ages of 75 and 74, and after all that time, we finally are in the age where next – we're not next year, but the year right after that year, we're going to see the two giants, the two heroes, DC's firefighter and the, po- and the police detective of the DC universe – 
on screen at the same time that's not a fan film, that's not a it's not like a fan trailer, that's not just an animation as awesome as that is. Not since World's Finest have we seen these two, not since the World's Finest animated film have we seen these two inhabit the screen together properly. These two live action components on the same screen, it's going to be it's a magical occurrence. I'm so happy we've lived to the age where you can see that and opens doors to possibilities which we're going to discuss today. Yes. It was anyway. going to happen in 2009 with the Justice League movie, but that didn't work. But a momentous yeah. occasion nonetheless. Yeah. Um, now, uh, you've speculated elsewhere about this, uh, these implications, uh, Blue Dragon 5, you know. Um, so I'm going to actually leave you to, 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 to last to say that anything, uh, on it. Yeah. Uh, initially, uh, mystery, you were the one that, that told me this news and, um, uh, I was, uh, quite, um, surprised to hear this. Um, initially also, I was like, well, that's awesome. But then I thought about it and I thought, Hang on. We uh shouldn't Batman get his own movie before we go delve into this before public enemy stuff? Yeah. Well, Mr. E. Yeah, uh we're gonna have to pause here for a minute, guys. Yeah. And we're back. Uh so uh uh I I'd pretty much finished, uh so yeah. <laughs> Mr. E, would you like to take this out? So, uh, just your initial reaction when the, uh, this uh, news was announced. Well, my initial reaction was, when I first saw it, I ran upstairs, I saw my entire family, because I practically live in the garage, and I ran all the way up there, I saw him, I shouted it to him, I nearly fell down, and then I ran all the way back down here just so I can learn more information on it. And mm. that was my reaction. And then I constantly, I continued to read it. And then I saw the writers. And that right there, that's when I began to become skeptical. Mm. Because it said it will be co-written by David S. Goyer and Zack Snyder. Now, I remember the last movie that Zack Snyder wrote. That was Sucker Punch. We all know how that ended up in the ratings and the critics. So right yeah. there, that's when, that's when I began began to become spectacle. Yeah, spectacle. Skeptical. Skeptical, skeptical yeah. Uh, okay, Blue and, Dragon. Uh, but... Yeah. My reaction Continue. to it was... My reaction to it was... Uh, first, I heard... Oh, they're making Superman Bam. I mean, where have I heard that before? Well, let's see. Uh... <laughs> There's a I Am Legend when we heard that, and we've heard it's been in development heck for years, so at first I was a little scared. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, we've all heard that. They've been working on Just League film since it was supposed to come out in 2013. That didn't happen. Anyway, so I check it out, and I check the news, and I hear, see, like, a little news headline. Superman Bam film. I'm intrigued at this point. I hear it's true, but then I check out, like, the Comic-Con footage. It's like, oh, my God, it's happening. It's just a minute... I saw that. I saw the clip, and I heard it offic- made official. I was like, yes, after all this time. And in my mind, just suddenly flashed. In my mind, the world's finest Bat- Superman Batman animated, when their first debut in the DC animated universe, where they first met, it's like all that's flashing. Then it's the to the Hans Zimmer ending of Dark Knight Rises, like that just huge, that momentous occasion. That music just going through my head. I'm seeing all that clips. Fast forward. Then the Dark Knight Returns animated film fight between the two. It's just wow. We, I'm. I was so happy. I was like thinking, this could open many possibilities, open many doors. <coughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be big. I mean, I know it's gonna, it's gonna sell out. Big it's gonna like it's gonna beat Avengers in the box office because people have been waiting for this since the dawn of time. Well, I'm not 100 percent sure it'll beat Avengers in the box office. Well, I, it's, I think it will come close. It's I, definitely gonna make. Well, money. I mean the first Avengers. I mean Avengers two might might beat it because now when you consider it, they're coming out the same year. But I mean the point is like it's gonna be a huge occasion. It's gonna you know, be good financially for DC. But you know seeing these, so, yes, finally it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get my equivalent to the world's finest animated film, but on the big screen. Just seeing these two interact with each other, it's something everyone's been waiting for, and I was just really. 
real excited. I'm just thinking, I'm still burning with ideas like what could happen, what will happen. And I'm hoping these two, well, we'll get to that later. But yeah, that's my initial reaction. All positive, the happiness, I'm excited to see what happens next. Sorry, guys, we've lost Mr. E, so I'm going to try and get him back. Uh, but, um, so we're, we're all definitely going to say that this is going to do really well. It's just, um, yeah, it's just, uh, one of those th things that's, that's, that in concept alone is going to do really well. Yeah. Plus the implications of what it means for Justice League in the future. Yeah. Because that's really, and that's another underlying reason why people really want that movie, because they think, you know, we get that movie, kind of like the DC Animators, we got that movie, then we got Justice League. Later on. Yeah. Seeing them cross over, because that's really the first bond, the two big giants crossing over, and which means, you know, then they meet the other heroes. It was the first, really in the comics, it was the first meeting of heroes. Well, huh. I mean, it was Justice League then. You you know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. You back, mm -hmm. Mr. A? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'm sending multiple messages saying, keep on talking like I'm still here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, anyway, um, so that, uh, hopefully that's our only technical glitch in this pilot episode. Uh, anyway, um, I think it's time for us to start suggesting... Um, ideas. Do we, yeah, ideas. Um, do you think we... Initially, okay. My first question is, <clears throat> do you want a duo villain, duo dual villains, or do you want uh, just one big bad? When you say dual I villains, want, do you mean one from each? Villain. One from each, or just uh, two? Two, uh, two. Because I want dual villains. You want? Do you want du dual villains? Blue Dragon yeah. Five. Do you want dual? I want dual villains, but not one from Gotham. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want a Batman villain. Because at its core, this film is a Man of Steel sequel, and I don't think, I don't think Bruce would. Uh, sorry, I mean, I don't think uh, Superman's going to go to Gotham at this point. So I think it's going to be. Yeah, I'm, no, I, I'm saying. I'm seeing this take place. I'm seeing this movie take place in Metropolis. Yeah, definitely. that's the only reason I'm saying like no Batman villains for this one. I mean, it's going to be. Instead what, of Metropolis. You don't, Batman you, you don't, villain. Well, uh, okay. Let me let me let me pitch this one to you. This is just come on. This is just off the top of my head. Penguin mm -hmm. and Lex Luthor. It's like this. Everyone knows Lex Luthor is going to be the villain, so just go ahead and say Lex Luthor. Yeah, we don't. I'm not. Lex I'm not. Uh, I'm in, uh, of the opinion that we could we could be getting Brainiac. To me, Brainiac is a Justice League villain. Use him for the Justice League just because it will probably be better. Okay. Good good, good idea. But uh, we could still get... Um, uh, no, what's uh, what's the, the guy with the optic blast? I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm terrible at Superman villains. Don't you mean... Do you, are you trying to say Bizarro is Superman? No. I'm sorry, you say optic blast. I mean, those are really narrow. Uh, Apocalypse, the guy from Apocalypse. Oh, you mean Darkseid. Darkseid, oh, that's we're, it. We're, we're was, not you knew it was started with D. What about Darkseid? Another Justice League villain, in my opinion. Yeah, well, I mean, Darkseid, his scope, he's really, once you're really in the Superman, it's like past the city. He's like another, not like almost not another dimension. I mean, he's like big scale, like planetary scale. Yeah. And he's, yeah, he's more suited to, to me, Justice League. It should, like be something, it should be something smaller if you're going to have Batman in it. It should be something like just for the city. Uh, how about how about Lex and uh, if we're going to do two Superman villains, how about Superman and Dark uh, and Darkseid? Well, Superman is the bad guy. So uh, no, 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 yeah, no, no. Sorry, God, I'm so uh, <laughs> Lex Luthor, okay. Lex Lu Le Lex Luthor and Doomsday. Doom? You, you want to kill Superman? I didn't say that. Well, if well, you had Doomsday, you're going to kill Superman. I see what you're saying. Well, they could – it could be interesting to see, like, Doomsday worked in. It's like, okay, Lex uh, – maybe Lex invents Doomsday. I'm not saying that necessarily needs that. I'm saying if Lex invented Doomsday, they should build that he built him and he's fighting Superman, and later on he could kill him. 
But I, I don't necessarily think you should defend Doomsday because Doomsday comes with that instant connotation that yeah, he's going to kill Superman. I would save yeah. him for like a second trilogy, well, if not second trilogy, like, you know, after three, at some point. Do you, do you really see this going that long? Man of Steel, oh yeah, it's going to make money. So I mean, it's do you going really to... do you really see do you really see it going for six films? Well, six Warner films. Is is something. I know. I, take it I see it going past three. I I do. I don't. I'm not new, sure. It's going past three. Yeah. Yeah, that, to include Justice League films, yeah, okay, fair enough. I don't, I just don't, I don't see the main actor being in it that long, so I could this, see the con- no, it's like this. The reason why the main actor, and he was truthful about this. My fa- my dad has even said this. He was truthful about this. He got, he did the role because of the money. So it's like he's gonna keep on doing the role until Warner Brothers is just like. No longer wants to give him the money he wants, so it's one of those. Yeah, things. well, I just don't. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, to be honest, I don't see Cavill doing it that long. Well, the guy's in his late twenties, yeah. so he has time. I, know I don't want to. I don't particularly want to see a post forty Superman. I want depending on how he looks. Uh, depending on how he looks and, and everything. I mean, I just don't. I don't opinion, really see. That's the weirdest thing. Because I wanted that no one wants to see a post forty Superman, but when it comes to Batman, they're all ready for it. Well, because of Dark Knight Returns and Batman Beyond, that's the reason. Well, yeah. Batman. Also, anyway, the whole um, Tug thing, but yeah, you're right. All right, now go back to Superman Batman movie. Yeah. Uh. To be on. Okay. Let, uh, let's. Uh, let Let me give you you um uh are uh, you guys my pitch. All right. Okay. And this is just a general outline. Okay, we're gonna, assuming Lex is going to be the uh, the main guy, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And, and I, I do take a little bit of liberties with your theory, uh, Blue Dragon Five, in this because uh, I heard it. So you you have I think I think it's yours anyway. Lex is rebuilding the city, obviously. Um, he's sort of like. Uh, in in the can, uh, he's been doing interviews and uh, and everything post this, and everyone's praising him for help, helping out. But he says, "This guy, this man of steel, how can we trust him when he kills his own people? He's a, an awesomely powerful man, and he he could have, yeah, and he even points out he could have easily." gotten rid of um, uh, Zod in uh, hundreds of different ways without killing him. Okay, um, so he starts getting on that bad wagon. Bruce Wayne sees this and and, and it agrees with him. And, and they're doing a, a dual interview because he's also a part of, part of this interview. I should have pointed that out as well. And he, he agrees with him and, it, and he's... Uh, he's also helping clean up the city. They're not sort of merged. They're just the two companies that are helping with the cleanup. And they they point out that the this fight has uh, has left a wound in Metropolis, and we're just helping to try and heal it. And uh, they continue on this course. Um, but I wouldn't put. Uh, I'd put Bruce Wayne throughout most of the movie. He wouldn't suit up until the third act. What do you What do you guys think about that? That's him not suiting Him not suiting up until the third act. That's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. And and, and um, and that way you don't have to deal with with um people having yeah you having Batman in Metro- really really having Batman in Metropolis until. Later on, like you could see him doing investigations and all that sort of thing, as well. So but you, uh, you could. What's the plot? I mean, what's well, Luthor's plan? L- Luthor's plan I- I- is to um, is to take down Superman, and his motivation is that he's sick and tired of the press that uh, that Superman's getting. 
And um, he's he's doing some sort of money making scheme on the side it, it, to it, during the cleanup, and it, it, and yeah, he's looking for some. Uh, you, what do you think of looking for some sort of? Tr- I'm sure he's done this in the comics uh, hundreds of times, but he's looking for some sort of tr- uh, some sort of treasure to um, it, it, like uh, like in that um, could be also during this cleanup. We get we get Doomsday, but he doesn't actually kill Superman. I know, but uh, he gets knocked out and imprisoned, and you could you could hold off bringing him back until um until uh, until later. So you're saying because, Luthor would unearth Doomsday within the Earth? Yeah, because that, that was in a uh, Superman that Doomsday. Was, yeah, I know it's 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 kind of silly, but it's it, to me it's one of the few things that work works. And like, I just I I wouldn't I don't have a clear outline for Lex's plan yet. I just to me uh, the main things I want to I don't want to see uh, I don't really want to see Batman suit up until he has to. Well, why would he be fighting Superman? Because we know I, Bat- wanna, that's, I, that's I don't want him to do- see I don't want. I don't want to see him fight Superman, really. I, I want to see them. Uh, I want to see them uh, perhaps have a disagreement, and you don't have to have Batman suited up for that. You could have Bruce Wayne uh, and Clark having a disagreement. You could have Bruce Wayne having a disagreement with Superman, and I, I would also leave it that they not necessarily if these two guys get along either. I'd say uh, I'd have the fight end. I uh, whatever whatever it is like, and I'd point out uh, I'd ha- have Batman say, "Well, I'm I'm remember Clark remember Clark, I'm always here to keep you in check," and and I would even put Kryptonite in this in this one, but um I wouldn't ha- and uh, I. And that that you could echo the um, uh, Justice League Doom movie with uh, with that um, Tower of Babel thing. He keeps a piece of kryptonite to keep um, Superman in check. But he, uh, but Superman doesn't know uh, know about. It. And uh, I'm still working on the plot because I've only had a couple of days to really think about this. Because I've heard lots of people say that it should be. Uh, that Lex should be the villain, but I'm not 100% sold on that. I'm because... 90% sure that... I know they are advertising the fight aspect, they are, they're misunderstanding. They, the two yeah, players. well, look, 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 look mate, uh, they could they could change their minds, I'm ho- uh, because uh, for all we know, they're still working out the kinks in the script. script. Yeah. I'm, not a po- I'm not 100% opposed to uh, a fight between the two, but I'm not, I don't want an all-out brawl between the two, because... Um, I don't want to say I don't want to say I don't want to see because uh, I always see Batman Batman always out thinking. If if it came to a fight, I, would, I don't want to see a, a, a fist sma- a fist yeah. fight between the two because to me Batman would uh, always outthink Superman. He, 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 yeah, he'd outthink him. He, yeah, he's. Uh, more of the strategist. Think he, yeah, strategist. He's the chess player yes. of the Justice League. I'll give you that. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, and the 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 plot. Uh, as long as it's good, I don't I don't care what it is. As long as it's good, and it's better than Man of Steel. And by the way, I'm not opposed to having a Man of Steel two after this. Well, all we know is this is Man of yeah, Steel. Yeah. Well, this uh, this could be, you could ha- have this, and then a man, uh, uh, then a se- another separate Superman movie that's called Man of Steel Two. I, so, I get it. I'm why, sorry. why 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 couldn't they do that? You well, call the you call this Superman Batman something. 
I'm thinking that they're just going to do the, uh, the Nolan approach title-wise, and that first one was Man of Steel, then next one's another surname for the hero, like World's Finest is with the encounter between the two. Again, I'm just saying World's Finest because I like that title, but still, it's just the two, another title. And then the next one will be like yeah. Fast and Krypton. So I'm saying it's not – this movie is the sequel to Man of Steel, and it's not going to be another Man of Steel 2. Otherwise, just say it's a crossover film. But By next, the way, that, the, that should have been the title of the last one. Last Son of Krypton? Yeah, they did yeah. it would have worked a bit better. Yeah. I mean, like, this could have been Man of Steel, kind of like, you know, Dark Knight, you know, Man of Steel instead of Batman. But the point is, you know what I mean? This one is officially been confirmed as this is the sequel to Man of Steel, because this is, he said, I'm yeah, Man of Steel 2. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I get, get what you're saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you could still have a uh, like you could uh, have this when you're thinking when you, when I think of DC uh, DC right yeah I don't know, uh, this franchise I see okay you could have a trilogy of Batman Superman movies throughout that are separate to a su- full like like you know how Avengers is sort of uh, the t- uh, is a sequel to Thor. Um uh, and Hulk and yeah. the Iron Man movies and Captain America, you could have this be its own con- part of the continuity. Have a world's finest trilogy as well as a Justice League uh, trilogy as well as having a separate Superman trilogy and a super separate Batman trilogy. Yeah. trilogy. Well, Magpie, the thing is, I'm on board for that, but it's not happening because they 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 said that we're not getting that. But I, I prefer it if it was its sep- if it was its own separate movie. I mean, it's just Batman Plan, uh, and like, uh, Man of Steel too, not its own movie. So, so, so what they're gonna they're gonna so what what you're saying is there's no no way like I'm saying I'm just saying well that's the way I think it should work. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm you saying- can so and and by the way I can see uh, I don't want. I also don't want a a rusty, wet behind the ears Batman. Yeah. In this. Indeed, I want. And I, I, want I and by the way, here, here's the way I I would have the Batman movie to that spun spins out of this be a prequel to uh, a prequel to the the Batman Superman movie. Yes. But it could run concurrent with Man of Steel. That's what I'm. I'm saying that that wouldn't be a half bad idea. Again, I'm just saying I, I prefer it if it was its own separate thing. Plus, in an ideal world, in an ideal world, we could have had a Superman, like the Man of Steel sequel, and a new Batman film come out in the same year. And then the following year, 2015, we would have. I'm um, either that or just another following year. We'd have 2016. A, yeah. I think I think that would have been worth. Whatever. I'm, I'm saying that another. The following year from that, like we get two superhero movies one year, then the following year we would get the uh, the the meeting of those two in its own franchise. You know, just the whole solo meeting films. Yeah, they they've really they really um. It's in an ideal world, which we're not. They, gonna... they, I think they put too many eggs in that in that Man of Steel basket. Yeah, that's it's kind of a risk. I'm not sure it's gonna. Pay and I don't. I I personally think that uh you you shouldn't have really done. You should really uh, pl- have planned this out a little bit better. Yeah, DC. They were trying to. It, it's, I think it's because of a Green Lantern. I'm not saying that. I again, I, I what agree. You said, put I, your eggs in one basket and with Green Lantern, and that failed. That basically crippled them for the rest of these films. Oh. By the way, I'm not opposed to do, uh, doing another Green Lantern movie. Yeah, neither am I, but I wanted to showcase like Flash, you know, which we are getting in 2016, hopefully. Well, yeah, they said it's confirmed, but we'll see where we get with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Mystery. What are your thoughts yeah. on this? Yes. And the story? Well, as your story. I told you, yeah. Well, as I told you before the video, I wouldn't, like, elaborate it because I'm not a big... When it comes to movies that are about to come out, I don't try to elaborate. I just feel... I'm just usually, okay, this is sort of what I want, and let's see if they can go make it, which they probably won't. But for the villains, Lex Luthor and Black Mask. Lex Luthor and Black Mask. I could see that working. Black Mask is trying to get... uh... 
Okay, here's how I'd see, it, see the the plot going. Um, Lex is helping Black Man, uh, Black Mask get a foothold, in, 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 in crime wise, in Metropolis. He's spreading out from Gotham. Batman's coming in, uh, coming in to try and take him down before he gets that foothold, and he's. Once uh, he he helps out, he helps out Superman with that. Do you do you do you see that working? Well, this is I had Black Mask as the villain and all, but it's like this: when Batman goes to Metropolis, he doesn't know who Black Mask is working with. It could be anyone, but Black Mask just so happens to be working with Lex Luthor. Um, yeah. and Bruce Wayne is also going there as well, just so he can help Lex Luthor um, fix Metropolis and all. And you kind of took what what I was going to say, Superman. Bruce doesn't like Superman because of what Lex says and all that. And the first meeting that Batman and Superman has is Superman is like, he, he can read between the lines when it comes to Lex Luthor. Superman tries to stop Lex at one of his evil deeds. Batman comes up and he kind of beats the living crap out of Superman mentally. And like because of his strategy, because of him being a strategist and him being able to smart Superman and all, he beat Superman yeah. and all. And kind of like Lex has a piece of kryptonite that he's been holding, keeping a hold on ever since the beginning. It's like, he was the first person to discover, discover Kryptonite, and it's kind of like, he's been hiding it forever. He doesn't want to show about it, because he has no idea what it is. He just thinks it's another piece of rock. But then he finds By the that... way... Yes? I want to say, isn't it awesome that we got we got a Superman movie without any Kryptonite? Yes. That was cool. <sighs> yes, finally... Now, mm. as I was saying, um, yeah. it would just be one of those things where Batman and Superman don't like each other at first because Batman thinks Lex is a good guy. And how they discover each other's identities, it's kind of the same. Like, Superman x-rays through the mask, and then Batman deduces that Clark Kent is Superman. No, mm. like, that's going to be any hard. Since someone, since Lois Lane already knows who it is. So, and then, and then it's kind of like Bruce kind of begins to understand Superman and all, and then they find out Lex and Black Mask are working together, and then they take him down. But Lex stuff Scott free because he's a businessman, and he practically owns Metropolis. Black Mask, he goes to jail because he's a gangster. So, and then they kind of like go off as friends and all that. They're not best friends, but they're friends. So, yeah. that's my idea. They don't, in my opinion, they want to start developing the best friend friendship until Justice League. Well, that's kind of like where they got to take up the mantle of leadership. Mm. Blue Dragon 5, time for your pitch, if you've got one. Okay, I've got, I've got two, oh, but got in, in a nutshell. The, uh, my main pitch is, again, following the following the logic of this, uh, Man of Steel sequel first and foremost. With that logic, I'm not using anything from Gotham, because it's Bruce going to Metropolis to help out. Okay, we start. It's in Metropolis. He uh, He's foiling someone trying to steal something from LexCorp. This man's name is John Corbin. Luthor's at... Uh, at a press conference, and he's saying, you know, I'm rebuilding, rebuilding the city after the destruction of the tragedy. It was brought on by the Kryptonians. Hint, hint, I hate Superman. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. That sort of stuff. He says, I have a uh, financial backer who you all meet at my uh, gala event tonight. He was not mentioning who it's like a surprise who's helped me out with the city, and, you know, we'll see if that branches off into anything beneficial for the future of Metropolis. After that, he has a meeting with the government, Luthor. And it's Luthor saying to them, look at – we see how obsessed Luthor has been and how much he hates Superman. He's just saying that 
gentlemen, look at what Superman has done. This he killed his own kind. Look, it's basically calling into question all the faults with Man of Steel. Yeah, just kind of saying that you know, <laughs> look at all this destruction he caused. And look, as he killed his own kind, this this guy he, we have no control over him. Like, what's to stop him from taking over one day? The, he's out of control. He's reckless. You know, he's pointing out all the the, the true facts about Superman in that film. That he's a little unseasoned at this point. That could be dead. But Luthor using that to scavenge because he doesn't like. And we get into you know, Luthor. He's the god of Metropolis, and Superman's shown him up with his heroism and stuff, and that, that's Luther's, he's also bringing up that I have the remnants of the Kryptonian ships. Also, I've been doing some research, and he's, we see how obsessive Luthor's really been when we get to his lab later on. He's, he's, fine, he's figured out that red sunlight was on Krypton. He's gone to that much of research. He's wants some space probes out there, trying to harness the power of the Phantom Drive to do so. Point is, he's a uh, he, he's figured out, you know, the red sunlight's also a weakness for Superman as long as the Kryptonian atmosphere, which he can't harness, but still. Red sunlight, he's got the remnants of the ship at this point. Then uh, <clears throat> we see Clark Kent at the planet. You know, we see him how he's – how he's, he's he, uh, assimilated in there, you know, Lois, his rapport with Lois Lane. You know, we have classic Perry White doing it. Maybe I'm saying put in Jimmy Olsen since they, they were smart enough not to put Jenny Olsen in there. You just start to get the team. Team owner say, okay, we're going to go to that gal event tonight, Smallville. Like her calling you that, even though she knows he is from, you know, who he is from Smallville. <laughs> but, you know, him, yeah, him but, being Superman, I know it's still, yeah. Yeah, and, and I then, want J- Jimmy Olsen to call him CK. Yeah. Call him CK, and also, at the, at the meantime, before the, before the gal event happens, a meteor shower transpires. This meteor shower, there's a kryptonite. In this meteor shower, potentially accelerated oh, by that, potentially accelerated by the events that happened to Man of Steel, by the like remnants of the Phantom Drive mm. during when it was triggered last, like maybe something held open so that it got there faster instead of maybe waiting like thirty years. But either way, either there it's been traveling since then. Point is, Kryptonite is raining from the sky, falling to the earth. And Luthor, just, you know, being Luthor, he's going to have his teams. He's going to his lab this Monday, and he's saying, Mercy, I have to – I I control Metropolis. I can't have this godlike being showing me up, that sort of stuff. He's saying, okay, uh, well, Lex, let's go through uh, the agenda today. You have that gala meeting with a uh, financial backer. Ooh, keeping him mysterious. Good on you. Uh, also, there's some uh, kryptonite that's that, – no, sorry. Uh, meteor showers. Yeah, I just get samples of that for the lab. I'm focusing on my Superman my Superman hatred right now and just figuring out how to undo him and convince the sway the government. And I stop Superman. Mm. You know, get on, get on my side of things. Okay. The Galvin happens and Bruce Wayne's introduced. You're saying, you know, I'm, I'm here to help the, the damage of it. Overall, Bruce in this film, he's going to have come from the same perspective as Lex. Now they see, they see the facts. All the destruction happened is kind of Superman's fault. And, you know, it's, Putting the blame on Superman, putting the purpose on Superman to get better, become the man of steel that we know, you know, be, take, be the guy who saves people during the course of the battle, you know, the guy who, like, stops the building from falling, from falling, the one who tries to direct the guy away from the city, that sort of stuff, be a refined Superman, that's, that's Superman's arc throughout the film. Batman's arc is, he's coming from Luthor's point of view, yeah, this guy is trouble, and at the end of the film, after they have a scuffle in the second act, it's going to be uh, – after that scuff in second, at the third act, it's going to be Batman working with Superman to foil Luthor to seeing, okay, uh, Luthor is on the – Luthor is behind uh, all the bad stuff that's happening. The bad stuff being he creates Metallo. He finds out that Kryptonite has power over Superman. He uh, – basically, he uses the Kryptonian ship metal and uses other strong metals and creates Metallo, which co- basically switches – sorry. He – Puts Corbin's mind in the in the robot body in classic thing, or he just coats it in coats his body with that. Just something sadistic that he can't get out of the suit ever. So he is basically a robot now. And overall, that's like durable against Superman because it's from Krypton. However, now it's powered by Kryptonite makes him even more of a threat. So he, he has mm. an edge over Superman. Like maybe during the Gal event, he was displaying some meteor rocks or something. You know, Clark is 
Also, I think uh, Luthor should find out that Clark is Superman. Because if Lois can do it, I mean, why, why can't Luthor? Of course, if that's done, everyone... That's problematic to me. The, the, uh, the, to me, that uh, that can be problematic. Well... I'm not opposed to it. Uh, it's just... Uh, I, uh, especially with the, the, the Burton and Schumacher films, I was getting sick and tired of the villains oh, figuring out who... Yeah. Yeah, that's the identity. Was... Oh, that's uh, that's a bit. That's that's a big plot point. That's what I literally was. About I don't. To... I don't think. I don't think Lex should be too concerned with that. Well, I mean, no, I'm just. I mean, I was literally. That's fine. I was literally about to bring up that point that yeah, people would say yeah, too many people are getting found out in the superhero films, their identities. But I'm fair enough. Fair enough point. I might take that out. Just you know. I, I, in regards to his identity, the way Batman figures out I have it is that this Superman acts kind of like the Flesher Superman. So Lois Lane saw him close up, so she knows who he is. You know, that's that's the reason she found out who that Clark Kent Superman. She saw him up close, and she did her research. Yeah, that too. I mean, she did her research. So what I'm saying is like this Superman be kind of like the Flesher Superman in that you know he's he's Clark Kent, but then he's just, this is, looks like a job Superman. Superman flies and he takes care of business. He doesn't stick around for questions or people to get a real good look at him. And, you know, Batman, he'd probably look at news footage and look at all stuff like freeze frame, like zoom in, saying, okay, that's the same guy run by all the face, facial recognition IDs in Metropolis, and you say, okay, this is the guy. That sort of stuff. And he would do it in, like, a little briefcase computer, or his computer in his, like, a hotel room or penthouse, wherever he's staying in Metropolis. So that would happen, and, uh, okay, fine, Luther doesn't have to find out, but, you know, he, anyway, in the, gal- in the gala, maybe some rocks distributed, uh, maybe Superman... An occurrence happens where Batman in, intervenes, like maybe John Corbin breaks through the gala trying to steal some rocks or steal something. Just trying to make Luthor look bad mm. or something. I'm I'm still spitballing it here, but, you know, John Corbin, mm. event happens, Superman's in the area, takes care of that. Maybe Superman gets – Batman's in the area, then Superman gets in the area, and the rocks start to affect him. Batman notices it, and he gets away before Superman has time to ask questions. Maybe, you know. Then Luthor would take interest in John Corbin, taking prisoner today, he – Use him as a pawn in his plan to get Superman. Yeah, and mentioned the whole Kryptonite Metallo thing. Hmm. So Batman would get into a little scuffle with Superman. Not nothing major, just a little scuffle, and he would outwit him in the end. But you know, he kind of realized, okay, this guy's not bad. He's not my enemy, and Luthor is my enemy, which brings to the third act where Superman fights Metallo, and Batman helps out. And it's really Superman's struggle with Luthor, but Batman also. It's really the arc is Batman helping Superman realize, yeah, I need to be a better Superman. Batman realizing, okay, this guy's not all bad. He's just still getting the hang of things. I've been there once. I can help. I, I get what he's going through. So, yeah. Mm. He, I, I trust, I'm starting to trust this guy, but I'm not completely buddy way, as Mr. E said. He was, that, yeah. That's for like another thing. Neither am I. Yeah. So that's that's his arc. So that, that's basically uh, – let's see if I go through all the arcs here. Mm. Yeah, let's see. That's uh, yeah, is that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Batman. Was what's Lois's arc? Yeah, character mm. development. Come on, a lot of people were complaining about that. Well, yeah, the thing thing with Lois is that she's she's being the investigative reporter. You know, with she's struggling with you know. I have this guy who's so spectacular and he has this dual identity. I'm kind of playing with that. Just be hers. I guess would be kind of. She'd be, she'd be the one consoling the hero through these tough ch- tough times, as she did at the ending of Man of Steel with you know the whole Zod thing. Mm. Do you mm. think we should get uh, get a, a proper fortress of solitude in this? I would. I'm, I have no idea what to go with that. Like maybe he took the remnants of what was left with the ship and he rebuilt it because he said he's hanging his cape somewhere. So I can't. Or that could just be him saying, like, "I'm not telling you who I am." Like I'm my Clark Kent apartment or anything. So I, I can't say for certain what's the fortress. I would like to see the fortress, see what he meant by that. So, I mean, hmm. yeah, I'd like to see that. But, again, it's Luthor. He just – now he has kryptonite, and Batman takes a piece of kryptonite kind of saying, you know, just insurance in case anything happens again, or you do get out of line. Or if you ever need a reminder hmm. that, you know, you need to reel it back a little, something like that. Or, oh, heck, if any Kryptonians get out of the fan drive, I'm speculating that one. But still, you know you know what I mean, right? Hmm. So that would be set up for Justice League that – I still say I want the world's finest animated thing, and that's these two guys. At first they fight, yeah, but then again they they team up at the end. They, they go up against Luthor, saying, "Yeah, Luthor is a scumbag. We gotta we gotta foil this guy, even though Luthor's gonna get away with it." Mm. You know, just put him in his place. So Luthor's 
plans with John plans to make Superman look out to be the bad guy and then try to kill him with Metallo. It's not going to work. They foil mm-hmm. that plan, but still Luthor has this big power and city. They can't do anything about it. Yada, yada, yada. That uh, le- would lead to Justice League. So basically, uh, that's pitch. If I were to start in Gotham... But, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. You know how, how I'd end this movie? How would you end for, How would you oh. end this movie? We see a familiar fla- face running. Uh, we pan back, and then we see this running through the city. Huh. It's like that's just the, that that that's all you need to know is next we get next we get the flash. You know it'd be great, even better if right, right after like Bruce gets on his plane and leaves right after that, then there's like there's just this really quick whiz by. We don't even see it. We just see like papers moving like this like something's been through there. Maybe like if they can do this like just literally like the slightest, slightest hint of flash, but just Superman like turns his head, says, "What the, boom, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, um, just really." Good stuff. And by the way, be, I, the Flash will yeah. probably be an origin story. I, yeah. I, I am not uh, not opposed to the all these movies. Not kind of, uh, uh, a Flash movie taking place concurrently with that would would work for me because well I'd like to see a Flash that's already established but you know like there's like an open of, addressment of I the think origin. I think I think uh, look we haven't had a Flash movie period as far as I know we have I mean we're getting um Quicksilver we've gotten before a, Flash we're getting Quicksilver before Flash yeah. I was just going to say, why? Uh, I think we need uh, his origin on film yeah. because it mm-hmm. hasn't, uh, like, I don't think uh, it hasn't happened since the series. I'm saying what, let's address it kind of like it did, Massey. You know, like, you know, hint, like, it, say what happened, but do it, like, in the flashbacks or something. Like, address it somehow. Yeah. Address the origin somehow, but still give us a fully formed Flash and the villains. That's what I'm yeah. Saying. That's, that's yeah, I'm not. I'm not too familiar with his rogues gallery, but I, I would like a teaser of some sort in the in this, yeah. and I, and I think that would be the easiest way to do it. And be, besides, who's to say that uh, that's not something that happens in the movie? Yeah, because hell, you, you could you could do reverse flash in this as well, and it's actually just that. It, they're just running through, and that's part of the film. And then uh, in the um, part of the next film is that scene is them running through Metropolis. But listen, another thing, uh, another thing I had an idea of: if it was more of just a, a Superman Batman film, that the one that's not just a Man of Steel sequel. The only reason I, I hesitate, to, I'm saying, let's show a way that'd be really cool and taking advantage of Zack Snyder's visual style. But I, I think it'd be great to see. Is if we we start the film in Gotham, just so we, again, this is if it was more less tied to a sequel. We see we start in Gotham. Okay, it's like what the we we were just in like a Superman film. Now we're in Gotham all of a sudden. This is different. Like where are we? it's like real seven of Apocalypse now. We don't know what's happening. So Armageddon, I mean, sorry. So we just see a, a, a caper going on in Gotham, but would really be great with the Z- Snyder's visual style is if we saw the opening of Batman the Animated Series unfold in a way. Like an explosion happens, and these guys are like uh, being chased by Batman up a building, basically. You know, like the guy's trying to head out the door of the ground floor like a battering gets thrown. We don't see Batman yet. It's like, oh, what the? Up the stairs, up the stairs, even though it's a, it's a logical move, but they're so just, uh, terrified. You go up the stairs, and Batman's like beat him there. And we see like a cape starting to move, and then it's, he's beat him up there, and he's in silhouette at first. Dealing with them, then the lightning reveals Batman as like Gordon. He's looking at the newspaper, saying, "Huh, how about that?" After he has like a little meeting with Batman, it's my hint that like uh, these guys are working for like another organized, like maybe they're working for Riddler, working for Black Mask, like that. But point is, it's a. Uh, it just starts like Gordon's like looking through a newspaper, and like right after he has this little meeting, with Batman like throws the paper down in the car or something, and you see if Superman's on the on the paper talking about the events in Metropolis from Man of Steel. Then, boom, there's your opening. Huh? Do we, do we like that? 
at all? Magpa, you can name first. Magpie. Well, I'm interested in it. You, you like it? I like it. I wouldn't mind it. I'm saying it'd be cool. I feel like it's too yeah. tongue-in-cheek. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that's an idea. The point is, like, an opening could be it starts in Goth and maybe Batman's just foiling any crime. Like, it could be, like, some black mask and his goons, you know? It seem see like a crime already in progress in Batman stuff. But I'm just saying that to take advantage of the visual style. The point is, you could start just Batman in Gotham. We don't know what's like, it's different than what we've seen so far. It's just kind of started like, okay, this isn't Metropolis. Using that surprise, just seeing him full of crime. It could be, like, a Riddler's in the middle of a scheme and Batman stops him. Just seeing, like, him, I kind of use this for my Justice League pitch. You know, he just walks by saying, you did this, you did this, and you did this. You know, this riddle the answer, this riddle the answer, this riddle the answer. Show how smart this guy is. Maybe knocks around some henchmen and just says, you know, okay, you're done for. Just show how how fully formed Batman is at this point. Or do it for Black Mask. She's stopping some thugs and saying, you know, you're done, Black Mask. But also, if he was more so this, Superman so this Batman. So year two Batman. Well, I'm saying more like the year three or four Batman. Maybe not year two, but like year three at least. You know, just seeing like the Batman who's – he's done this for a while. I'm saying I want fully formed Batman for this movie. You know, like Michael Keaton, like mystery about him. Like we don't know – the origin or anything at this point. We just know he's fully formed and he's like ready for Justice League at this point. And if we go the Batman films going to the origin, like maybe not exactly origin because we've seen that before, but just seeing what, you know, seeing uh, what how they're tackling we've already seen Batman's it. history. Yeah, like just see like yeah. how what, how this Gotham is, like how this new rebooted Batman is. And like his own film series, but still just so fully formed Batman, just showing like the awesomeness a Batman, like how what we know about the character and him interacting with these guys. But still, if it was more Superman Batman oriented, like show a few flashes of the Gotham. Like we see Alfred in the Batcave, just like we see Batman in the Batcave before he goes to Metropolis. And you see him like contacting Alfred. Maybe maybe a scene with Gordon before he goes, or like I don't know if they could go back and forth or not. Like that's what I'm saying. Like seed in a few Batman villains if it was going back and forth. You know what I mean, Mystery? Yeah. Okay. Um. Do we do we have any ideas for the uh, for the costume? Should should we talk about that? Um. Oh. As far as the Batman Arkham one Island. goes. Arkham Island makes new fifty two. Do we want the oval? I don't want the oval. Uh. I I don't need it, but it would be nice. Yeah. Plus. Yeah, the oval would be nice. I mean, we don't necessarily... Let me ask you this, guys. Now, the symbol that's been shown is kind of the official symbol. I guess the symbols could change, but still, just given the symbol we have, do you think it's going to be Frank Miller Batman symbol on the chest, or no? I think they're going to probably modify it. Yeah, just like yeah. ordinary That was Batman. probably the symbol they just wanted to show you, just like to get yeah. uh, hyped up for the movie. Yeah, that, that's probably... That, that, yeah, it's like yeah. this. I'm just saying... Didn't he use own... It's like this. They didn't want to use the known symbol. Yeah. yeah. I like and this. Sorry, I was getting... People hopes this. up I... for, like, Christian Bale returning, so they used a different... Yes. I, uh... I'll say this. I, uh... Yeah? I would like what? to see the gray... <laughs> I would like to see the gray body... Uh, the gray suit. Oh, the classic gray bat suit in this. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I but I, I don't want it to look uh, like material. Yeah. I want it to essentially Arkham City bat suit, basically. You know, just basically the classic yeah. bat suit, just a little more armored, like uh, subtly armored, though. Yeah. Um. Do, See, like, as I said, uh, the Arkham suit mixed with New Fifty Two. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I want. I want the black shorts. I don't. I don't want them to be gone. Fair enough. I want to uh, quickly just um, uh, do this. Uh, we're going to, with the Lone Ranger looking like it's not doing that well and mm -hmm. chances of a possibility doing, not not happening, do we think uh, Army Hammer could be cast as Batman? You know what? I just don't I don't want to see it, but anything is possible. It's like this. Yeah. It's not his fault for the Lone Ranger. It's the story's fault. 
it's the writing's fault, and it's probably the directing's fault, and the casting of Johnny Depp is Tonto. Tonto. So, yeah. So is- um, it's not. It's not the it's not Army Hammer's not Army Hammer's fault, and um, also I just don't want Army Hammer as Batman. He's got the voice for it, but he doesn't. I just don't see him as Batman. All right. I would like to. Here's the thing: I haven't seen the Lone Ranger. I just want to hear. I, I want some more reference on this guy before I can make a call if he can be Batman because I know his name's been tossed around, which kind of makes me think he's not going to be in. But then again, Henry Cavill's been tossed around. And he became Superman. So he was in the say? Social Network. He was I don't know. in Jagger. He was in Mirror Mirror. Yeah. Who did he play in J. Edgar? He oh, played J. Edgar Hoover's lover, I think. Yeah, okay. Well, here's the thing. I, I guess I'm always in the mindset that we should always get an unknown for the big hero. It's, been, it's worked so far. Well, he's... I mean, get the, the major, for the majority he made unknown. A lone it's like this. They made a Lone Ranger movie in the 80s. They got an unknown. That movie didn't work. Well, I yeah. mean, think about it. All the big heroes, they're they're un, they're relatively unknown British guys so far. The big three have been British. Christian Bale so was. Yeah, Christian Bale's a little Christian British. Christian Bale wasn't unknown. Well, I mean, he's, well, I'm, when you say are you contesting if he's unknown or not? Yeah. Yeah, he's an I'm American saying, like, psycho. Pretty popular. I mean, Bale vaguely wasn't unknown, vaguely unknown. Bale, Bale was not a big star beforehand. I don't need I don't need a, a totally unknown for it, but I would not. I wouldn't be opposed. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to a name actor, but you'd you'd have to be very careful where you tread. I'm saying with get that. I'm saying get an unknown or a relatively unknown. It's worked out so far. You know, it's the it's the Richard Donner school of casting. It's it's worked out so far. So far, I don't. I think Armie Hammer kind of falls into that. So, again, I don't know. Just kind of go with those that in mind for the casting. It should be fine. Mm. And someone that can do do a di- for like of what I've seen, I think they've already begun screen testing for Batman. You yeah. know, okay. and from what I've seen. Like I've only seen one person so far tossed around, like for the screen test, and that guy was on a TV show, and he was on Teen Wolf and all. And when I saw that he was on Teen Wolf, I was just like, "Oh." Mm. Uh, I'm not. I'm not uh, ter- overly terribly. Let me ask you this, Magpie. How would you feel if a uh, uh, Stephen Amell played Batman? Will never happen. That's not going to happen. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm saying like, Captain Logan's like brought it up once. I saw I mention it. It's not going to happen, but I'm not. I'm not opposed to it because then then you got to juggle schedules. Then true. And it looks like it's whoever is going to be Batman is going to have to be in a. I I'm get I'm guessing. That the, uh, this is not going to be. Uh, I, this is what I'm hoping, and this is uh, and this is what I think that this is what I'm hoping their plans are. Is that like I said earlier, this is not uh, this is a sequel to Man of Steel, but it's not necessarily Man of Steel two. If you get my drift, there. I don't. I don't see how that's. So what? So what you're saying is okay. We're going to get Man of Steel, Batman, and then we're going to get Man of Steel three. Doesn't make sense because then okay, well, why why do we need why can't why it it doesn't make sense to me. It should be a separate property from it should Man be. of Steel because it doesn't make sense. Otherwise, you might as well just have Batman walk in there okay. there and, and and do the the well the uh, fight. Samuel L. Jackson thing. Let me talk to you about. The Justice League initiative. Well, the mm. point is, they really are selling this on the fight. I mean, I think there's like some websites called Super Batman versus Superman. I'm just saying that's really even what they say at Kong. They're really selling the tickets to the fight. 
the question remains if they're going to team up, which I say it's, it'd be a bad idea if they just fought for the film. That no, I don't. I'm not saying that. I'm saying. I, I, I'm saying that this this should be a separate property uh, in, in, within the same continuity. It's just, uh, and I don't. I don't want to see if I'm not. I don't care if there's a fight. I just don't. Yeah. You're, want it to be a long drawn out battle because it's to be stupid. You're right, it should be its own thing, but it's not. That's what DC's that's what DC does marketing wise. It's a mistake. It should be its own film, but it's not. This is gonna be the sequel to Man of Steel. That's what they're doing with it. Not saying it's a good move, but that's what's happening. The third one's just gonna be called something else. It's not gonna be called Man of Steel Three. It's gonna be like, you know, if that's the point, yeah, uh, but... in my opinion, if Superman, Batman is going to be the sequel, then Justice League should be the third one. Well, because it's the only thing that would make sense then. I, don't know, I think they're, well, yeah. I think they would make sense, like, but I think even with that, they're still going to call it Justice League as its own film. Look, uh, they, it's probably, it's probably still early days in the plan. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping this is still the early days in the planning process and that, this is just uh, this is just a, a a step along the way to a, an eventual Justice League movie. Like I'm not opposed to like getting a bunch of small like okay getting another Man of Steel out before we get um a uh, another Man of Steel property out before a Justice League movie, and uh, in the meantime getting a bunch of other, other movies up and running. Possibly a, a, a possibly a, a a flash movie. Possibly a. I think Wonder Woman has to be a part of the Justice League, so ho- I I, hopefully like, she. I, I think like she needs a movie. They're not gonna make a Wonder Woman movie right off the bat is because they're trying to make a Wonder Woman television series. So I think that's yeah. why we're not getting a Wonder Woman movie. And I believe. Yeah. This is me spitballing. Maybe the TV series is going to be a part of the um, movie. universe. I I think that's I think it's stretching it, Mister. I mean, it'd be a first I if would, it happened. It'd be a first if it happened. I I would rather see that be a part exactly. of the They're doing it right now with HBO. Hear me out, fellas. DC, especially well, Warner Brothers. I mean, Warner Brothers and a little bit of DC. They they're really. This is a real big thing for them. They're really scared. Uh, they're not taking chance. They're putting. They're pushing these things forward so they can get made. Just League's taking them so long because they want to get right. But it's kind of with all the fa- with what happened with Green Lantern. They're scared. That's why they're kind of okay. Well, we know. Let's put Batman in the Man of Steel film. We're gonna do Flash next, and you know, then Just League before you know people forget about us because of the Avengers. They're really taking chance. They're, they're not taking would, chances like Marvel is. So that's that's the problem. I wouldn't. Uh, I. I wouldn't care if we didn't get get a Justice League until after we even get a um, Avengers Batman. three. Well, they're afraid they're going to lose. They're mind, afraid uh, Avengers is going to show them up completely because of that. It doesn't matter. I know it doesn't matter. Tell them that it doesn't matter to me. I I, I don't care if uh, I don't care if we if it takes forever for as long as it's done right i don't care when a, when a, when a justice league movie comes out DC? if if it's the i don't need uh, and personally i don't want to have to choose between a, an avengers and justice league movie warner bros is perfect. feeling very insecure with marvel's success and kind of their some of the other misgivings i get that man i'm yeah. what i'm saying is i'd rather it planned out and and i don't care if they copy the the formula but i i, I feel that if you want, if you like, like you, it could work to spin out characters, but uh, out of a Justice League movie, as long as we don't get caught up with someone's origin in the meantime. Like, I don't think a Martian Manhunter movie would necessarily work. I think he should just stay part of the. The Justice League. The, I think he works better in Ju- Justice League I, anyway. I would say that introduce him in Justice League, then give him his own spin off film to explain where he came from in another film. Unless they just do the origin completely in Justice League the film. I don't want to see that. You don't want to see the origin in the film? No, I well, don't want just... anyone's or... I don't want anyone's origin in a film. Well you have to realize if in a, you don't in a Justice League in the movie then. Hey, Pei, I think we might have I mean, don't matter, I'm all, I'm with you. I would like to see him fully formed or fully established or aware of each other and it's just be them meeting for the first time. That's just me. But I, I don't know, I think they're gonna have to introduce Wonder Woman 
and they might work that in the story. One on one, we don't know verbatim if we are getting Manhunter. I, love I don't even think. I, look, to be honest with you, I I don't want to. I I would put uh, Martian Manhunter in a Man of Steel movie to explain it, kind of. But um, and he. I mean that would be sacrificing a Man of Steel movie, but we we had to have Black Widow in an in Iron Man too. I guess that'd be the equivalent. You can use Brainiac as the villain in that case. Yeah, but uh, still, I think unless but yeah, my prediction is that they're going. Um, they may give Wonder Woman work Wonder Woman's origin into the plot for the Justice League film. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's. I'm saying I like it, but we might get that. <sighs> It just looks like that's, uh, that's where DC's going with these with this insecurity. They're gonna again put their eggs yeah. in the basket. So unless they have they do smart thing and have them all fully formed, they're just meeting each other. Then they're gonna work that into the plot, which still could be good. But you know, it's not one or one of their own film, which we can only hope is a spinoff after Justly comes out. See? Yeah. So yeah, in a nutshell. Plus, I guess what they're kind of we, we might there's a small chance we could get that fully formed league if they had the Wonder Woman TV show. That kind of says to people, okay, this is the character. You get the character, and now you just have her. Now we just know we know everything about we know the basics about this character. So you can just get into it for the movie. Mm. But anyway, it's, it's up in the air at this point. My so, fear is that that we 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 need a woman in the team because, it, uh, uh, so you're who would you put who would you put in the team if they don't put Wonder Woman in there? Listen, Napa, it will be what? sacrilege if they don't have Wonder Woman in the Justice League film. It will be sacrilege. It'll, there'll be riots if Wonder Woman's not in the Justice League film. Yeah, I, I'm well, just they had, comic, they had a book, comic book called Justice League Year One, and Wonder Woman wasn't in it. It was Black Canary. Get out of it. Well, that was well, you sure that wasn't Justice Society. No. No. Well, I haven't read that, so yeah. Well, to me, if you have Black Canary, then you have to have Green Arrow. Oh well, yeah, that's that's a good yeah. And that's Only a way for it to make. But my my th- thing is okay. It's like um, not having Captain America in the Avengers if Wonder Woman's not in there. Yeah, but anyway, back to Superman, Batman. Well, let's just finish finish up here. Um, do do we need? Uh, do do you guys have any um other? Things you want to throw in? I, I guess if 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 a Batman movie gets spun out of this, do you want? You, obviously, we don't want another uh, ninja hyper realistic Batman in this continuity. Do we? What uh, do we do? We, do we want a, a more comic book uh, Batman with? I, I want. Um, this is what I want: a com- more comic book, more detective Batman than. And the ninja stuff is sort of in the background, kind of like what we're getting with Beware the Batman. Yeah, I just want. To, I want him like that. Yeah, the, I, basically detective comics, basically detective Batman with a little with comics, but particularly just detective and animated series touches to it, with basically overall Arkham City. So basically, all the best of Batman I want with Batman again. Just have him fully formed, just kind of do the unique thing, kind of what Man of Steel did, and also kind of Incredible Hulk, just kind of flashback the origin, like work it into the story while he's having these fights. Maybe it's a psychological. It's it's a psychological arc. You know, it's just kind of like I don't know. It's saying he's going up against Hugo Strange or something while he's having these these flashes to his best. I don't know. Point so is, the, to have a fully formed Batman explored a little. For the Batman universe, I kind of want fully formed villains. Like let's say he's already went up against like Joker and Riddler and Mister Freeze. I don't like want. That. I don't want to. I don't want Joker until a, a third Batman movie. Oh no, I'm not saying have Joker in it. I'm just saying like they've already been introduced they already exist they're in arkham right now no yeah. one's touching them and all but just have them like okay they're here they exist moving on we don't exactly. need a or joker story he's that's already that's the perfect here. way to do it just only just have them established and you may go into work it into the plot if you're kind of going into well the past like you know batman can always have like a bad dream about his parents death and that's that's in a nutshell that's it. you know he traveled the world you don't need to explain anything with batman because he's batman and the, yeah the villains, and to me occasionally you could have an origin just you know work it into a story you know just explore it or you don't need it for everyone though then me, really you don't need two-face but you could if you wanted to work it into like an arc for like for a few films maybe but i don't think not, you need it. I, I think they did it well uh i think 
I think you can set up Two Face in one movie. That's and, what I'm saying. And then and then throw him in into the next uh, a fully formed Two Face villain in the next one. Exactly. But I think they've already done that, so I don't need to see Two Face again. I would want to see. Um, I know Riddler seems to be the popular choice, but uh, if not him, no, nah, yeah, but it would have to be. It, it wouldn't be a Danny DeVito. It'd be more like Mad Hatter would work. Yeah, he's around and no one's ever seen him, so it'd be new. He's actually took in the limelight recently with that whole uh, uh, Greg Hurwitz Dark Knight story. He's been trying to show as a menace, you know, as you know, a credible threat. Yeah, yeah. always. And I want a, I want a darker. I want a, I want a darker Locking. or already. I wouldn't mind exploring his origin a bit because uh, man, I, I like the one they did in. I like the one they did in the animated series, and that's. Uh, but I wouldn't mind someone trying to do a, a new. Yeah, like Mob Boss sp- Club. I've, like, I've seen a villain or a version of his um, origin, kind of like where he's sort of like I know you might not like this, but like where he's a pedophile and he's constantly getting like little girls who are blind. You mean the Mad Hatter? Yeah, this is the Mad yeah. Hatter. Yeah. But, yeah. But anyway, we're getting uh, off, like, off top. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, we, we can have a film in which he, he, like in the first, like, five minutes before we can open it, he knocks, he take, takes care of Zaz. He's in the midst of taking care of Zaz, and then we get on with the plot for, the, for a Batman film, you know? Have fully formed villains, what, in a nutshell. Could work. But, you know, last thing on the matter for me, I, I would say that, I kind of say this for Justice League. Just show show those villains like in Arkham, though. like they're in their cells. Like just show that yeah, we have different versions of these characters. So in case you're curious, no, it's not Heath Ledger Joker. No, it's not Dark Knight Joker. It's a different mm. version. Like just have that showers like reeling in a new villain into Arkham, but you see the other versions. They're just not being part of the story at this point, you know? Yeah, and they. Uh, but the problem is then, man, you got to you then you got to cast them. Yeah. Well, well maybe some will be in shadow. Like just show you like Joker. I don't know. No, yeah, then that becomes a problem too. That's what I, I'm just. That's my I think I think could be a good look. Uh, yeah, man, I know what you're trying to say. That works better in animation because then we, that way you don't have to have vo- you all you have to do then is cast the voice, and if it doesn't really work, then guess what? You recast the voice. It's less of a problem then. <laughs> and uh, I like I said, I don't want a Joker until a third Batman movie, but. Anyway, uh, I think we pretty much explored this, um, and we're pretty much done. I think we're I, I think we're pretty much done here, unless you. I think we're all cautiously optimistic for this for this project, yeah. but where it's. I'm just nervous about the writing, just because like Zack Snyder is gonna help out write it. He done he one of his really bad movies, Sucker Punch. David S. Goyer's writing it. One of his really bad movies that he wrote, Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance. Blade Three. So I'm. Blade Three, yes, yeah, that's, that's that's really bad. But he's written a lot of good movies. Ghost Rider: Dark Knight. Yeah, but he had help with that with Nolan. Well, Nolan, and to me, I hear Nolan might be helping out with this one. No, he's yeah. producing this. Well, yeah, well, he, he tried he helping. Thinks. He tried help. He tried helping out with Man of Steel, and he was going to take the worst part of that movie out. Yeah, I heard. I, I've heard conflicting things about. Well, I mean, Nolan for a sequel. I hear. I've heard some people say, "Okay, yeah, Nolan's going to help out with this." But that, really, what I heard from Comic Con is it's Snyder and it's, it's Snyder and Goyer working on the writing. So Snyder to be helping out, which kind of leaves it up in the air. But gentlemen, if I may, overall, we, we we're positive on just the fact that we're seeing these two on screen. It's, it's cur- we have no idea how it's going yeah. to meet me. We have our ideas, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Just, it's great to see these yeah. two guys on screen. It's just jazzing up to see DC slowly coming into their own, whether it be misguided in some aspects. But in the end, they're starting to take risk. Hopefully those risks start to escalate, which will end up in awesomeness, hopefully. Yeah. Maybe one year they can uh, dwarf mm-hmm. Mark. Maybe. You know, make it a 2008 year again. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm 100. percent I'll. I'm gonna go see the movie, 
I'm just not sure if it's bad. I'm not going to see it multiple times. I didn't. I only saw Man. Of, I've only seen Man of Steel once. And I'm not sure if it's going to end up being a part of my DVD collection, oh, it's to be gonna honest. Be. It's like this. Uh, it, the only yeah. thing, these Warner Brothers is going to um, upstage Marvel is if they somehow released another movie similar to The Dark Knight. That movie was kind of at time stage Marvel. But then once Marvel let out the Avengers, that's when Marvel upstaged Warner Brothers. So... Warner Brothers has mm. got to make another dark sort of Dark Knight movie if they want to try to be a heavy hitter. I don't think that, I don't. I don't want to need that cop, carbon copy of that man. I want. I want them to take some idea. That's good and uh, like up to par with how awesome the Dark Knight was. Yeah. Yeah. I want DC to be in the forefront. You match their animation in the live in the live action things like since Dark Knight came out. You know, since Rises came out. Both, you know, just I just want the positive of DC to kind of shine through because it is this film. Every with this film and with Justice League, we're gonna get in the theaters. Uh, the gr- people's grandfather's gonna go see this because they know it's classic. It's Batman, and Superman, and by extension, then Justice League, which were around longer than Marvel. Not that I'm knocking Marvel. I like Marvel. You know, it's good. It's mm. just I'm, I'm so happy that we're we're starting to get some progress on this. Again, it'd be nice. If, yeah. Ideally, it'd be nice if they took their time with it. But you know, what can you do? Well, I'm just happy with what we're getting. You know, not just folks on the positive. Uh-huh. I'm happy about this. Yeah. Okay. It, it was big news, and it's going to still be big news for the days to come. That you know, the year to come, it's going to be you keep building, and building. Until so hopefully after, that building pays movie, off. Once the movie's out and done with, everyone's going to be like, "Oh, that's old news." Yeah. Let's move on yeah, to the next but... bigger and better thing. We're going to see this brave. This is going to be the brave and the bold. We want DC to become the brave and the bold company again. You know? So, that's all we can talk about for the movie. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This has been a first installment of uh, the Confidential Fan Guild. Yes. Yay! And uh, for now, we'll, we're going to disassemble. But we're going to reassemble because uh, another announcement was made at Comic-Con about uh, an age that's coming. It's the age of Ultron. (gasps) So, yeah, so we we will reassemble to to combat that threat, that that big piece of news right there. We're going to combat it. Yeah, and we uh, we, it'll probably be the same sort of thing, but obviously we won't be casting and we won't be, uh, and we'll be speculating on uh, other things that will be coming out uh, then. Uh, But uh, after that, uh, I I should let you guys know that um, I would like uh, each of you to prepare a topic, and we and we will. and then rotate uh, with our uh, geeky gentlemen to talk about certain things while we uh, can be prepared, uh, obviously, so we can be prepared for them and everything. And then uh, this will hopefully be either a weekly thing, a bi-monthly thing, or at the very least a monthly thing, and we can just uh, rotate then and... Uh, so I'm not sure what the the topic after that will be, but um, I will get to pick uh pick that topic because um it will hopefully be my birthday by then, so that'll be my little present to me for this <laughs> thing. But uh, if That's you guys can get birthday to me, yeah. But uh, you're, also you're guys, the um... you're the leader of the group, so you get to do whatever you want. Yeah, but uh, it's just uh, yeah, we, we're gonna. Like I said, we're going to rotate then, and uh, after me, it will be uh, Mystery and then Blue Dragon 5, cause, only because uh, Blue Dragon 5 got a whole month dedicated to him, so he's <laughs> he sort of get uh, Sometimes so sort 31 of get, days just isn't enough. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're going to reassemble for that. we got the live, I've got my live show coming up, so everyone stay tuned for that, plus... I uh, I'm I've been checking my video account. I've got a 400 video uh coming up, so I'll probably be doing something special for that. But uh 
please, people, uh, leave uh, some questions on that Q&A video, that announcement that I've put out. I'm really hoping we can get some more for that. And hopefully uh, it will not be just a basic Q&A again. Hopefully I can get someone on board to come on live with me for that uh, as well. But uh, we will be back here for the confidential fan fan guild. We will reassemble so we can uh, tackle the age of Ultron. And remember. So, and remember, yes. I'm Blue Dragon Five. Mister Reed, that's you. Come on. That's you. Oh. That's your cue. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. What is an eleven <coughs> word that is pronounced incorrectly? Do you have the answer? Post it in the comments below. Cause I'm Mister Reed. <laughs> and I am the Magpie. Join us as we re reassemble next time. Next time. Next time, Gadget. Next time.